Sushen and today I am going to show another video for you guys about burglar alarm. So it's becoming Christmas as you can see I've written the date it's 23rd December of 2018. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to whoever is watching and let's begin. Okay now let's see how a IR sensor a IR sensor has two main components. One is the transmitter and one is the receiver. Now, I'm going to teach what is this later. Now, how does a IR sensor work? I'm going to show you that now. So, let's get an object here. Oh, oh I forgot to tell you this. The, a transmitter is also called as sensor LED. And a receiver is also known as photodiode. Now, let's go back to this topic. Here is an object basically and in front of our IR sensor that is working I'm just going to make the connections now the transmitter senses the object then the object stops that's the line that I'm writing and then it reflects it back to the transmit then re reflects it back to the receiver which is black in color and then the receiver gives the com command to the board and then it will give the command to the buzzer to make sounds. Okay, now I'm just going to show what is this thing. I was going to tell you that. That is a, that is a object to measure how far you want to keep your object now the IR sensor will be here you can't keep it you can't keep the object like one kilometer away like suppose you are in India and you get the object in Australia how can I sense that so it should be little close but if you want to keep it little far you use this object called potentiometer now a potentiometer is used by a screwdriver because it has a minus symbol on it which you can like turn it around to make the lens so here is one seat so there are two kinds of so on like a potentiometer you find two things one you will find a one symbol and two you will find a three and you will find a sign like something like this okay so if you want to keep one if you want to keep it close you use one if you want to keep it far you use three of course so i put so I basically wanted to put on three. So this is actually one. But if I put it here, it will be enough for three. Now let's go out of this board, board and go in real life action. So before mentioning all of this, we will go in the things you have to use. One is a P. S B also known as a, as a power supply board and this of course IR sensor this is the transmitter and this is the receiver and here is the buzzer it has a small hole to give the sound it has a speaker inside it and obviously the con the connections I'm going to show you that later and let's go this and let's make this in real action uh, there's a battery now you can see these two are red i'm going to go out of the screen 
I'm gonna get my object and look. Not sensing anything. I'm now putting on three. Not sensing. This is three, okay? That's one. So, you can see that it's sensing. But now, let's put this little anti clock. Now, let's try it out. I put an anti clock that is making me go more closer. And now, again back, and it's sensing this mirror over here. Now I'll just off that. So you saw the experience. Now let's go back on the board. some tips that you need to know about IR sensor. Number one, you cannot use IR sensors with a smooth black object. Now, I already showed you this. It's white but smooth. But if I paint this black, then the IR sensor will think nothing's there. How does this work? The IO sensor, I already told you, has two main components. I already told you where they are. So the transmitter senses the black object, which is smooth. But the black object takes all the light and then it does not reflect anything to the receiver, which does not give any command to the buzzer to make a sound. So, number two. False in waves. Now, you basically don't use this in sun, in like sunny days. I'll tell you why. Because but the sun rays, it's also known as IR rays, it, go, it gives all the light to the IR sensor that the, trans, that the transmitter reflects all the light back to the sun. It gives all the light to the receiver and then it just gives false, then it just gives false commands. The bird will just continuously making sounds. It's continuously make sounds, it'll never stop. But if you off it, it will go, of course. Uh, the last step will be in my next video about motors. Hope you enjoy again. Merry Christmas to all of you. Bye guys.